Hello everyone and welcome back to a bit more about gears. Uh, last time, in the last couple of videos, we've looked at simple gear trains. So one that you see on your left hand side here. Um, and these are useful for if you wanted to kind of control a simple machine. Um, but they're not the best because they do have the limitations. Basically, the fact that if you wanted a big change in speed from like maybe a slow speed to a fast speed, then what you're going to have to do is obviously have quite large gears in here, which will take up a lot of room to get around that. What they've done is they create a compound gear, which you can see on your right hand side here. And what they do is they stack gears on top of one another. So you can see the, kind of the shafts going back here that the gears sit on. And there's ones there and behind the other bigger gears. And you can see the small gear here in the middle is stacked on top of this larger one. So it allows people, it allows engineers and mechanics, mechanical people to create a bigger change in speed and in a smaller area as well. Okay, so if we're looking at this one here, this is maybe our motor. Once more, back with the best drone ever. Um, so this one's the driver, so we call this A, driver. The big one here, B, as you're driven, because it's the B, uh, big one has been driven by A. Okay, the wee one in the middle here, we call this C. My head's rubbish there. So. Yeah, C. That now technically, technically becomes the driver again. Okay, and D here. Mm -hmm. That's it. Is the driven because it's been driven by the wee one and C. Okay. So, so it should be driver, driven, driver, driven. All right, let's see if I can go on here. So what you've got here, you've got our input, and there you are. And you've got 20 teeth, and you've got one that should be 80 teeth. It's a wee bit blurry there, so hopefully you can see okay. And then it goes across to, this is attached to this one. We've just got a wee bit of a space here so you can see a bit clearly. It's a 10 teeth one and a 60. So we've got driver, A is driver, and then B is driven. Oh my goodness, that's looking even worse. I think I'll need to work on my ass. Right in here on this. Right, and then C, driver again, and D, driven. Okay, driver. That's it. Maybe bit of a lag again. So it's not showing up quite right there. So. Basically, I'm going to do the same thing, A, B, so driven over driver for A and B, so that's going to be 80, divided by 20. Okay, and we're going to have that as being 4 to 1, basically, isn't it? Input A goes around four times every time that goes around once. And then we've got C to D. So again, driver, or driven, sorry, driven over driver. So D over C. So it's going to be D over C. And that was obviously B over A. Right, D over C, 60, divided by 10, which is equal to 6, or 6 to 1, right, or 6. So it's going to be 4, or, and 6 there. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to find out our ratio. A ratio is simple as 4 times 6. So you can easily say it is 4 over 1 times 6 over 1. So 4 times 6 is 24. 1 times 1 is 1. So 24 over 1 or 24 to 1. My pen's just suddenly zonked out there, 24 to 1 there. Right, so the output speed, since it's stacked up now, is 24 times slower than the input speed. Okay, so you can actually work that out now. So, yeah. So, if we look at that then, our input speed of the input speed is 100. Right, your output speed is going to be. Input speed 
divided by your velocity, your gear ratio. Okay, so your output speed is going to be input speed divided by the ratio, so 100 divided by 24, which is just over under probably 5, probably something like 4.1 revs per minute, just under 5. And that's how you'd calculate that out. There's a lot of writing in there, but have you confused? Stop, rewind a wee bit, and listen to it again. And that's it. That's how you'd work out compound gears. Now, you can always try the, the next questions, the couple of questions in the next few slides. I'll post these out in Teams as well. Um, so give it a go. Try your best, and I'll help you out when you're in class or in the digital class. And remember, stay safe. Thanks for watching.